Do you want the best ever recipe for royal icing? Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna share my favorite and best recipe and show you exactly how to make it too. Like I'm giving this recipe away right now. So, all right, let's get going. Okay, so royal icing is pretty straightforward, but um, there is a little bit of a trick and an art in mixing it up. And so I wanna show you how to mix it up right. Um, there are a lot of pretty basic recipes for royal icing. This one, I've got a secret recipe in this one, or a secret ingredient in this one that uh, you might be surprised at. But what we're gonna start with, we're ha I have water meringue powder, we have some vanilla flavoring, I've got some powdered sugar and I've got a secret ingredient as well. So I'll show that to you in just a second. This, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start. I've got some hot water. You can go warm water, warm to hot. Um, and the reason that you wanna use some warmer hot water, I've got three fourths of a cup. So it's three fourths of a cup of warm to hot water. I usually tend to use the hot because it helps um, break down the meringue powder. It actually can help you have shinier icing and just better quality icing. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add, I've got a third of a cup of meringue powder, and this is a Maricolor meringue powder. If you're using a different brand, you may need to add a little bit more meringue powder. I've got um, a third of a cup, actually, plus a tablespoon. So if you love Jeannie's Dream or another meringue powder brand, typically you'll need to add a little bit more meringue powder in with all the other measurements of water and everything that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in as well. I'm not, I don't wanna forget my flavoring. I've got two tablespoons of clear vanilla that I'm gonna go ahead and add. And now we wanna get this, I'm gonna start mixing on low. We're gonna get this all nice and foamy, get that meringue powder um, mixed in. And you wanna go till it starts to get pretty foamy. I'm gonna turn up just like a half a notch here. There we go. I wouldn't go any faster than this though. So I'm actually gonna stop for just a second and unlock this. I'm gonna scrape the sides and then continue because I've got a little bit of the meringue powder that's kind of stuck to the sides of the bowl that didn't get mixed in. So I'm gonna make sure that that gets a chance to get mixed in too. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and open it up. I'm gonna add some powdered sugar, but real quick before I do that, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to amaze your family and friends with the most awesome looking cookies they've ever seen, you're in the right place. This channel is where deliciousness meets joy and we're all about having fun with cookies too. We'll show you how to make cookies that look impressive but are also easy to make. So please do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, share this channel with any of your friends that you think might like to join you. It really does help out. Okay, thank you so much again. Now let's get back to the video. I've got two pounds of powdered sugar here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add all of it in. So I am gonna go ahead and add it all at once. And this is two pounds of powdered sugar and it's kind of loosened up. You just wanna make sure that it doesn't have any like big lumps or it's not like, uh, that it's not compacted. So this is loosened up a little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this on low. And if you have a cover to your mixer, all the better. If you don't, this still works totally fine because you just start mixing it on low and it's gonna incorporate the powdered sugar into our wet ingredients that we had. And then as soon as it starts to come together, you're gonna to stop your mixer. Okay, so it's really starting to come together. And I wanna show you my secret ingredient to this is a little bit of corn syrup. So I've got some corn syrup. I have um, a little bit, a touch more than about a tablespoon. So you want maybe one to two tablespoons of corn syrup. And I'm gonna put that right in. That's gonna help 
with the flow of our icing. It's just gonna help there be more of a soft bite to our roll icing because how many times have you maybe tried roll icing or seen it and thought, it just looks so hard that's gonna break my teeth. This royal icing will not break anybody's teeth. It's this, uh, this corn syrup is really gonna help with that. So I do call this a soft bite royal icing. All right, so now that that's in there, we are gonna go ahead, turn on the mixer, and I'm gonna turn it up to high, and we're gonna mix this for about five minutes. It's gonna get to stiff peaks, but the trick is we don't wanna over mix it. So you don't wanna get super, super stiff peaks, but we do want to get to stiff peaks. So I'm gonna get going here. Okay, so we're really starting to get some air mixed in here, which is a good thing, that's what we want. But here, I'm gonna stop this real quick, look. So it's, yeah, it's not stiff peaks yet. So it's starting to look really good, but it's gonna start to really fill the bowl. Like it's gonna start to um, get so much air incorporated that it, it goes, it's gonna probably end up at about here, um, about three fourths of the way up your bowl. Oh, if you have this size of mixer bowl anyway. It's gonna start to look really fluffy. All right, let's slow this down. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Okay, ooh, I think we might be just about there. So this is this is um, stiffer peaks and you can mix it a little bit, maybe scrape the sides and see what that feels like with your spatula. And now if you're gonna be doing a lot of just outlining and flooding, then this, this is a good consistency and this will work for you because you do have, it does get, um, to, I would say this is probably between soft and stiff peaks, but I'm gonna go all the way to a little bit stiffer peaks here. I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, this is looking really good now. Okay, so um, what you wanna make sure that you don't do, you don't wanna mix so much air in it that it becomes like really hard to like move around in the bowl. So see how like, I can still scrape it and it moves okay. I've, I have mixed my icing before where it's so thick uh, that it even feels hard to mix. You do not wanna go that far because um, it's gonna end up making your icing really crumbly. So if you over mix, once it dries on the cookie, I mean, it's still edible, it's totally edible still, but you'll notice that when you bite into the cookie, the icing will kind of crumble. So we wanna avoid that and do not use a whisk attachment. You wanna use just your regular beading attachment. And then look at this, look at this. So this is stiff peaks, but it still kind of moves. And this is awesome. So if you're gonna be using this, this you can use this for regular piping, outlining, flooding. If you're gonna be doing something like florals or something, then typically you would take this and then add a little bit of powdered sugar to get it to where you want it to be. But this is great. Look at that. Beautiful royal icing. And then you notice too, it did start out at kind of a creamy color. And then as you mix the air in it, it lightens it up and it becomes a really nice, a really nice white color. Perfect for decorating. Here you go, my best royal icing recipe. I love this one. We all love cookies, making them, eating them, and giving them as gifts for friends and family. But do you sometimes get confused or frustrated about maybe pairing icing and sugar cookie flavors together? And do you wish someone would just show you exactly what flavors go well together? All right, no worries. I've created a quick, simple, and free guide to help you get the perfect blend of flavors every time you bake and decorate. I've made it super simple for you. Just go to the link in the description below this video, enter your details, and I'll send it directly to you. Go grab your free perfect pairings guide right now.